friends welcome back to part 9 uh, in this episode I will show you how you can work with file system rename and state functions so let's get started open your ID and the previous uh, video we work with unlink and unlink sync function so in this video I want to show you how you can work with asynchronous asynchronous uh, rename function okay so so for example if there is an M I want to make a variable old file name and the new file name file name new file name okay So here fs dot rename rename has three parameters. The first parameter is the directory of the file. Now it is old file name. The second is the new name, new file name, and the third one is if there was any error it is a callback function if there was an error then to the error otherwise cancel that lock file successfully renamed okay this renames works asynchronously and asynchronous means if the file uh, are large or the file take uh, the time more uh, uh, that times the other operation will not be with and they uh, works and proceed as well but uh, if you uh, change this to rename sync then this uh, when this uh, rename starts until this are not uh, until this uh, rename operation are not complete complete then the other operation will not proceed okay so also we have an exists function which uh, you check the directory okay but the access function currently uh, currently it is deprecated now instead of that you use the std function okay and the std function is uh, new release uh, that's update and stable so now we check the new file name and the second parameter is uh, a callback function with two parameters error and stats okay then we check if there is error through the error okay otherwise print cancel dot lock uh, here I want to use a back tick and stats now you can print with the dollar sign and bracket uh, JSON uh, you can print the st stats as JSON by the JSON dot string i5 function the stats 
now now I want to create a new file in this directory uh, what was the name as you can see the name was file name okay hash file name as you can see the now the name of our file is file name so let's okay the name is file name now I want to run the app not index as you can see file successfully renamed and the stats as you can see here is return as a json there it is as you can see the uid the gid the pl class size and so on now we check the file it should be new file name not file name okay as you can see here is that new file name not file name okay so thank you for your watching uh, and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more free videos and goodbye